It's far from a normal trading day in Abidjan's Roxy Market. Dozens of police officers seized truckloads of fake painkillers, antibiotics and vitamins with the support of Ivorian healthcare professionals. We've decided this morning to come and really put an end to these activities by seizing the fake drugs. Fake drugs are usually out of date and often do not contain the active ingredient for treatment. Authorities in Ivory Coast are clamping down on the practice and in March they destroyed 50 tons of fake medicines worth more than $1 billion. This time we have the support of the military police, defence and security forces, so we think we can accentuate the operation. We have had a result today and we're going to keep going. We will be in the field almost every day so that activity can be officially ended in a total and definitive manner in the Roxy market. The fake drugs industry accounts for 10% of the world's pharmaceutical market. One third of all medicine used in Africa is either illegal or counterfeit, with most of these fake drugs coming from China. In Ivory Coast, street pharmacies cost the legal drug sector $85 billion each year. And while the raid on Roxy Market was welcomed by many, some complain it's taken away the livelihoods of many women without offering any alternative. Nobody is ready to help us, but women here are used to selling all of this. If you tell them to stop selling those pills, there isn't much else to sell. What are they going to do? The UN says vital antibiotics sold legally in the Ivory Coast can cost up to $80 per tablet, but are available on the street for as little as 25 cents. And until legal medicines are more affordable, fake medicines will continue to find its way down the throats of the most vulnerable. Adifemi Akinsanya, TRT World.